Let's take a look how to make this quick glass effect here in Photoshop. This is my artboard size. And let's go and select the rectangular marquee tool. And here I'm going to select a line like this. And let's go to the adjustment layers here and select the solid color. Click OK. Let's go and double click on the layer. Activate the gradient overlay. Make sure that you're on black and white. I selected the basics. Opacity on 100, blend mode normal, and angle on zero, and also scale on 100. Click OK. All right, so from here, I'm going to right click on the layer, select Convert to Smart Object, and what I'm going to do is press and hold Alt, drag the line on the right, press and hold Shift to isolate. Now I'm going to press and hold Shift and select both layers with the lines and drag it, duplicate. Let's select all the lines, press and hold shift and duplicate again, press and hold alt to drag and repeat this step over and over again. Now I'm going to press and hold shift, select all the layers, right click on them, convert to smart object. I'm also going to press control T to squeeze them in. Now I'm going to press control J, press control T and press and hold shift and I'm going to rotate 90 degree angles, press and hold alt to stretch it. So it's going to look something like this, double click and let's go to blend mode and change it to multiply. So it should look something like this. Press and hold shift, select both layers with the lines, right click, select convert to smart object and we're also going to go to the filter. Let's go to blur and select Gaussian blur. I'm going to go and add 1.5 pixels, click OK. And we're going to need to save this file. Go to File and click on Save As. And make sure to save it as a PSD file. And now we can go and delete this texture. Click on Delete. Let's select the layer with the model. Right click on it. Select Convert to Smart Object. And then I'm going to go to the Filter. Let's go to Filter Gallery. And here we're going to need to go to Distort. And select the Glass. And we're going to need to change up the texture. So let's go and click on these lines. And select Load Texture and I'm going to select the new texture that I created. Click on open and here let's go and customize the options. I'm going to decrease the smoothness and I'm going to decrease the scale, increase the distortion. I think I'm going to go all the way up. Smoothness is going to be on four. You also can scale it here and click OK. Now I'm also going to delete some of the areas. So I'm going to go to the smart filter and click on the thumbnail on it. And I'm going to select the rectangle marquee tool make sure that you're on the black and for example i'm going to go and select this area here select the paint bucket tool and click on it press ctrl d and pretty much that's how i make this quick glass effect here in photoshop thanks for watching